in this video i am going to show you six best freshwater fish for your aquarium so let's start the list the first fish in our list is angel fish angel fish is one of the very popular tropical fish because of its unique shape this fish comes in different varieties such as golden panda black long fill leopard etc angel fish are aggressive eater and and they can eat a lot of variety of food the diet of angel fish primarily a protein rich diet you can feed them live or frozen blood worms brine shrimp as well as protein rich flakes and pellets you can also feed them veggies maybe a couple of times per week you can feed them veggies like peas zucchini etc while feeding the veggies just make sure to boil it and cut down into small pieces so that it will be a lot easier for them to consume angel fish like plants in their aquarium and there are lot of benefits of keeping live plants in the aquarium so you should definitely keep some live plants in your angel fish tank some good examples of best plants for angel fish includes java fern jungle hallucinaria water wisteria etc angel fish choose their own mate and it is very difficult to determine the sex of the angel fish so if you successfully want to breed angel fish then you should get at least 10 to 12 juvenile angel fish and put them in the same tank then you should identify the pair among them usually the pair form their own territory and don't let other to enter into their territory so from this behavior you can easily uh, determine the pair of the angel fish once you determine the pair of the angel fish then you should put them into a separate tank and also make sure the temperature of the breeding tank is at least 85 to 75 degree fahrenheit and the ph should be between 6.5 to 7 after putting them in the tank it will take them a couple of or a few attempts to breed successfully if you want to put other species of fish with your angel fish then there is a variety of fish you can put with your angel fish as a tank mate some examples include corydoras catfish platy fish bristol nose pleco dwarf gourami swordtail etc the next fish in our list is goldfish goldfish is the most popular fish in the aquarium hobby this fish also comes in different varieties such as comet goldfish fancy goldfish and fantail goldfish etc this fish is very hardy and easy to keep so it is a good choice for beginners you can feed it various types of food like live or frozen blood worms brine shrimp etc you can also feed it vegetables like zucchini peas spinach etc goldfish usually lay their eggs during the breeding season and for successful breeding of goldfish you should keep the pair in a 20 gallon tank also the temperature should be at least 75 degree fahrenheit you should also include some plants into the breeding tank once the female goldfish lay their eggs then you should remove the pair from the tank because goldfish are not a good parents and they may eat their own eggs ideally you should keep other species of goldfish with you in your goldfish tank but you can also put other species of fish like rosy barb zebra zebra danios ghosts and cherry shrimp dojo loaches etc goldfish are omnivorous and if you keep live plants in their tank then they may nibble on them but to a cope with this issue you can put some fast growing plant in your aquarium so even if goldfish nibble on them then they can easily survive in the tank some good examples of best plants for goldfish includes anacharis and sword plants like amazon sword etc the next fish in our list is platy platy is one of the popular fish in the aquarium hobby it comes in several different color variations like salt and pepper red wagtail and tuxedo this fish can eat a variety of food like frozen and dried brine shrimp blood worms etc you can also feed them some vegetables platies are live bearer so the offspring will come out swimming freely also they are very easy to breed and they breed very often platy fish are schooling fish so ideally you should keep them in at least a group of 6 some other tank mates for platy includes mollies guppies swordtail corydoras tetras etc some good plants to include in a platy fish tank includes java fern java moss duckweed hornwort etc The next fish in our list is zebra danios. Zebra danios is also one of the most popular freshwater fish in the aquarium hobby. This fish can tolerate a wide range of water parameters which makes them an ideal choice for beginners. Zebra danios can eat a wide range of food 
such as frozen and dried blood worms, brine shrimp, daphnia, etc. Zebra daniels usually do not nibble on live plants, so you can keep most of the live plants in zebra daniels tank. Some examples include Amazon sword, Java fern, Java moss, etc. Zebra daniels are very popular among breeders. For successful breeding of zebra daniels, you should maintain the water temperature of the tank anywhere between 72 to 82 degree Fahrenheit. After laying the eggs, after maybe one to two days, the offspring will come out swimming freely. Zebra daniels are not a good parent, so after the offspring came out freely swimming, you should remove the pair or separate the offspring from the pair because they may eat them. Some good tank mates for zebra daniels include platys, cori catfish, guppies, small barbs, sword tails, tetras, etc. The next fish in our list is discus. Discus is one of the most attractive fish in the aquarium hobby. This fish is also very expensive. Discus comes in a different color varieties and it looks really cool in any aquarium. If you successfully want to keep discus fish in your aquarium, then you will have to maintain very good water conditions in your tank. Discus fish are very picky about food, but still you can give it a wider variety of food. You can give it vitamin enriched flakes, live and frozen food like blood worms, brine shrimp, etc. Some ideal plants for discus tank include Anubias, Java fur, and Amazon sword. Discus fish are very difficult to breed. If you are planning to breed discus fish, then you should get at least 10 to 12 discus fish of the same size and put them in the same aquarium. Then you should identify the pair and remove all the other fish. Discus are good parents so you don't need to separate them from the eggs. The offspring will come out freely swimming after 4 days of laying the eggs. Some good tank mates for discus includes Cardinal Tetra, Star by Cori. The next fish in our list is Beta fish. Beta fish is the second most popular fish in the aquarium hobby after goldfish. This fish is very popular in the aquarium hobby because of its attractive colors. The beta fish diet is primarily protein rich so you should feed it protein rich food like live or frozen food like blood worms, brine shrimp and protein rich pellets and protein rich flakes and pellets. Breeding beta fish is not a very easy task. It takes a lot of time and knowledge to breed the beta fish. If you are planning to breed them, then you should choose young beta fish for breeding because beta fish breed best when they are young. You should feed them high quality food before breeding. Also beta fish require a warmer water for breeding so you should set up a separate tank of at least 10 gallon and raise its temperature up to 80 degree Fahrenheit. Once the female lays the eggs then you should separate it and put it into another tank or else male beta fish will bully her. Some good tank mates for beta fish includes cherry barbs, guppies, cori catfish etc. So these are the 6 best freshwater fish for your aquarium. If you want to know 6 more best freshwater fish for your aquarium then you should definitely check out my article. I have provided the link to the article in the description box below. Thank you so much.